Oh! Very good block. It's not exactly fun to get thrown at from two and a half feet away. But that is part of the rush. James Madison appears to be a popular opponent today. As we ha now have Ohio State talking about how they want to play James Madison. Good thing this is all on live recording. He probably should have considered that before he started feeling hungry. I noticed the most I candid conversations usually come when one side does not realize they're being filmed. Oh, good dodge. He might have ended up with a reverse mohawk if he was a little bit slower. Saginaw Valley avoiding a ball's over, which... Oh, will they cut? Out! He is out! Not in! He appears to have made a caught. I can't actually see it as he was underneath me. I believe him, though. Seems like a very honest, upstanding fellow. Saginaw Valley with a block. Cross throat. And it's a hit! Just like the Beatles, it was a hit. I don't know why I chose the Beatles, that's a rather old reference. Good block by James Madison. Good block. Got a little pump out psych war going on. Cool, I actually throw. Team throw coming, nope. Good job uh, defending for their friends. <laughs> now that, oh my lord. I thought the dodge was sick, but the catch was better. Until he dropped it. That would have been Arguably the play of the day. Oh, sickening. Saginaw Valley falls back as the shark that is James Madison begins to push up. Dun on on on. Dun on on on. Casual dodge of the foot. Works well. And he's out. Oh! Good catch by James Madison. That was it's like Saginaw Valley was starting to gain the momentum, but one catch can really swing things back. And then beaming a guy also helps. James Madison appears to have perfected the throw your arms in the air like you just don't care dodge. They have utilized it twice in the last point. It's quite comical. throw misses. It did not hit anyone. Oh, almost a catch. Almost two catches, but they both were hits because they both forgot to catch. Oh! Oh, I heard it from here. That was a thump. Another one. A point that had started out looking good for Saginaw Valley is beginning to have the tides turned. James Madison can win this one handily. It should be a very good boost to their confidence going into tomorrow. A confidence that, you know, they're the only team outside of Michigan to have beaten Grand Valley in a very long time. Saginaw Valley being one of the only teams that has beaten Grand Valley on an almost yearly basis. A very impressive feat. Mm -hmm. 
Saginaw Valley is stuck on the back line. Oh. The unenviable position of being James Madison's target for everyone appears to have gone well as he was not hit. James Madison surges forward, debates throwing, thinking about it. Looks like he lost some tape. Did throw it. It was blocked. Saginaw Valley throws. And the ball is on the track. That is the ball that is in play. That is Ohio State's Jeff Starr throwing it back. That was Kentucky. Fans laughing. And that same ball is now on the track again, but on the other side. I will not go find it. Because doing the same joke twice just is not funny. Particularly when it wasn't a joke and it wasn't funny the first time. There's professional recording, amateur recording, and then there's this recording. Oh, oh, he caught it! Very good for Saginaw Valley. Three minutes left in the half. Either team could walk away with this point right now, or neither team could walk away with this point. Saginaw Valley has to be hoping that they take it. Because it's always much better to go into the half 1-1 one, one, as opposed to 0-1. Oh! Uh-oh! Saginaw Valley runs forward, team throws. Nice dodge. Ducks low. Saginaw Valley has six players left. One away from the 10 count. Striking James Madison. Looking for a catch. Very nice team throw. Execution style hit on him. Saginaw Valley rallying in the back, going in the huddle to construct a new team plan. James Madison works on their own team plan. I'm willing to bet that Saginaw Valley's team plan is hit everyone on James Madison. Whereas James Madison is probably thinking, hit everyone on Saginaw Valley. Two men enter, one man leaves. Two men enter, one man leaves. Which doesn't really make much sense since both teams have more than two men. Referee Jason Hallman jogging to the other side to get a better bed, better vantage of what's going on. Very nice team throw by Saginaw Valley. Doesn't appear that it hit anyone, but it was well executed. It is, of course, much harder to catch several balls flying at you than just one. James Madison is on the defensive now, hoping that they can, in fact, survive this half against Saginaw Valley. They're down to three players with just over a minute left to play. Saginaw Valley has to be playing very fast and aggressive right now. A catch! James Madison down to two players. Never mind, two have been hit. James Madison down to their last player. James Madison. Last player out. Saginaw Valley has tied the game with 49 seconds left in the half. That will carry over into the next half. Exciting game.
Da-na-na, na-na-na.